Imagine a world where human ingenuity conquers yet another monumental challenge. This time, it's about bridging the waters of the Detroit River with an awe-inspiring structure. The Gordie Howe International Bridge isn't just a feat of engineering, it's a marvel that defies belief. Picture towering pillars, massive cables, and a fierce dedication to eco-friendly practices. And get this, by 2025, it's set to be the longest cable-stayed bridge in all of North America. Now, let's talk scale and significance. When it comes to border infrastructure, nothing else holds a candle to the Gordie Howe International Bridge Project, a monumental collaboration between Canada and the US. This isn't just about a bridge, it's about ports of entry on both sides and a crucial interchange in Michigan. It's a symphony of meticulous planning, intricate detail, and groundbreaking design and construction methods. The masterminds behind this project, a company once famed for their skyscrapers, now taking on what they call the strangest bridge ever built. But why? Why embark on such an ambitious project? What cutting-edge technologies are being harnessed to construct North America's longest cable-stayed bridge? Stay tuned as we dive into the world of the Gordie Howe International Bridge and uncover the secrets behind this engineering wonder. Travel back in time to the American Civil War era and you'll find the Detroit River, a vital lifeline between the United States and Canada. Picture ferries bustling back and forth, carrying people and goods. Fast forward to 1910, and the Michigan Central Railway Tunnel makes its debut. Then comes the Ambassador Bridge in 1929, a road traffic marvel, followed by the Detroit-Windsor Tunnel in 1930. But here's the twist. The Ambassador Bridge, a 7,500-foot engineering masterpiece by McClintic Marshall, the same minds behind the iconic Golden Gate Bridge, links the vibrant cities of Detroit and Windsor. It's a major artery, with nearly a quarter of all truck crossings between the US and Canada. Imagine over 10,000 vehicles daily, moving goods worth a staggering $120 billion each year. Now, the plot thickens. The Ambassador Bridge, owned by the Detroit International Bridge Company, is a rarity, a privately owned international border bridge. This means tolls and inspection fees fill the owner's pockets, stirring a bit of controversy. Critics point to its monopoly, as trucks can't use the tunnel, its billionaire owner Manuel Maroon, and a history of lackluster maintenance. Moreover, the bridge and tunnel lack direct highway access in Canada, leading to city street traffic and delays. Time has left its mark on the Ambassador Bridge. Despite being repainted, it's aging. Traffic snarls, long border waits, and economic impacts speak volumes about its struggle to meet modern demands. Enter the Gordie Howe International Bridge, a game-changer named after an ice hockey legend. This high-tech, cable-stayed bridge is a beacon of progress, ready to tackle today's booming commercial needs. More than just a bridge, it's an economic lifeline, promising to boost local economies by providing a faster, more reliable cross-border connection. The Gordie Howe International Bridge isn't just about connecting two points, it's about connecting futures. Get ready to be blown away by a bridge unlike any other. The Gordie Howe International Bridge isn't just a bridge, it's a record-breaking cable-stayed marvel stretching 1.5 miles across, with towers soaring 752 feet high. That's even taller than the Washington Monument. But there's more to this engineering wonder. It's the first bridge over the Detroit River to offer dedicated paths for pedestrians and cyclists. This bridge is a testament to thoughtful engineering. Imagine a team of over 150 engineers from the Windsor-Detroit Bridge Authority and Bridging North America, employing an innovative unbalanced cantilever construction method. They're building this giant from two sides, Windsor and Detroit, extending over the river, segment by segment, until they meet in the middle. This bridge isn't just functional, it's a work of art. It features two main spans with an intermediate support tower and a pedestrian walkway linking both halves. Each span is a two-lane wide spectacle, flanked by 12-meter wide arms, each with its own deck surface, connected to another deck below by cantilevering struts. And when the sun sets, the Gordie Howe International Bridge transforms into a luminous spectacle thanks to its aesthetic lighting. Engineered to stand strong against the fiercest Detroit River winds, this bridge promises a smooth ride, free from the fear of swaying. As for the structure, it's a behemoth. The first section alone is 1,050 feet tall, spanning 930 feet across the river. Following this, a 650 foot tall section, and finally, a 150 foot long piece, culminating in one of the longest cable stayed bridges in North America. This bridge is a feat of engineering, with a 770 meter main span supported by cables between two towers and composed of 2,842 precast concrete segments. Weighing over 4 million pounds each, these segments form an architectural giant. This international crossing isn't just a bridge, it's a boost to the economy, expected to increase Canada-US trade by $6 billion annually in goods, not to mention passenger traffic and other travel modes. A monumental project with a staggering budget of 5.7 billion Canadian dollars. Slated for completion in 2025, 
After a 74-month journey, this bridge isn't just a new structure, it's a beacon of progress, set to rejuvenate aging infrastructures and supercharge trade between Canada and the US. The scale of the Gordie Howe International Bridge is mind-boggling, with an estimated cost of USD 4.4 billion. This isn't just for the bridge itself, it includes the design, construction of ports of entry, and highway interchanges in both countries. But hold on, there's a silver lining to this hefty price tag. The construction phase alone is expected to create a whirlwind of economic activity, generating around 2,500 jobs across the border. That's a significant economic injection. This bridge is more than a passageway, it's a catalyst for efficiency. By streamlining the movement of goods and slashing transit times, sectors from manufacturing to agriculture stand to benefit from smoother supply chains. Picture this, border delays currently drain the US and Canadian economies of a whopping 17.6 billion US dollars annually. The Gordie Howe Bridge, with its state-of-the-art infrastructure and expanded capacity, is poised to significantly cut down these costs. In essence, the Gordie Howe International Bridge is a once-in-a-generation endeavor. It promises not just to facilitate international travel, but to spark a wave of growth and opportunity in the Windsor-Detroit region. This isn't just a bridge, it's a gateway to a future filled with possibilities. Imagine cruising over this colossal Gordie Howe International Bridge every day, effortlessly connecting your life between the US and Canada. How would that transform your daily journey? We're eager to hear your thoughts, so drop a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Catch you in our next adventure.